Hey guys, welcome back. Todd Kayak Warrior. It is super windy out today. I am trying to fight this wind. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but um, I'm gonna try to endure it. So I am on the hunt for some more sheep's head in the last spot that I went to because I had a family request some fish. So I'm gonna try to provide them some fish. Today's verse of the day is Ephesians 6 12 you can see it on the screen but with what's going on with today this verse hits uh, really home and when I mean what's going on today I'm talking about in America and how we have allowed the enemy to come in and dictate what the church will do will say will preach well that stops because we fight against not against flesh and blood but against those spiritual uh wickedness and powers in heavenly places as the verse says so if you are watching this and you are a believer and you've been sitting on the sidelines it's time to step up it's time to get out to the streets be a witness for christ and uh fight against the spiritual wickedness uh, because it's just going to get worse. The enemy is going to keep trying to uh, add his hand, or should I say up his hand, into something else. But here's the deal. If you participate or not, the church universal, uh, led by Jesus Christ, will prevail. So you're either going to be part of it or you're not. Uh, it's just the bottom line. The thing is, me and my family, as Joshua said, we're going to serve the Lord. So we're going to go out here and do this thing. We're going to fight against the enemy that is trying to take down the church. And uh, he's just biding his time because he knows the end is near. So I hope that helps with you guys um, seeing my perspective on things. But um, I'm all about battle. So I'm going to go ahead and try to catch some fish. So stay tuned. How y'all doing? Absolutely. I know it's expensive, but you can find them. I like I found this one on um, Facebook offer up for like fourteen hundred dollars less than what it normally was. So I mean, you can find them. You just have to search for them. But I, I would never do anything other than this. Yeah, it's called the Kayak Warrior. All right, appreciate it, man. There's a fish. Finally. It's not that big though. <clears throat> it's a stupid catfish. Alright. First fish of the day. Here's a catfish. Two for two, baby. Catfish. 
I am the catfish king today. The catfish king. Look at all those greenbacks. Catfish King. Zero fish, guys. Zero fish. One bite, or, well, I can't say zero fish. I have two stupid catfish. And that is it. I don't even see any sheep's head around these poles right now. I'm gonna go back to this one section where I was catching them last week. I'm gonna stay out here a little bit deeper and see, cause I mean, look at that, there's bait fish here. So there's gotta be fish here. Oh. Me. Look at all the bait over here. I don't see any sheep's head, not a single one. There he is. There he is. I guess it, it's a catfish again, isn't it? Nope, snapper. All right. I'm getting more towards the species that I want, but he's not big enough. Can I get him off without touching him? That is a shame. You have got to be kidding me. How am I catching all these stupid catfish? Is today National Catfish Day? What is going on? Yeah. Probably the worst fishing day ever. ever I like I said I'm when I was out on the water to this day I had never caught a catfish in my kayak today I'm the catfish king because I must have caught at least 10 or 12 of them it was ridiculous I even caught one on my mesh bag with an oyster in it on a salt donkey jig. So Jackson, your salt donkey jigs catch everything, including catfish. <laughs> oh man. Well, I guess a bad day of fishing is better than a day at work or whatever they say today i'm not feeling it <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching this video i didn't catch anything significant but i did get out on the water all right guys remember god loves you god bless you may he keep you peace